Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I tell you what, man, today's a pretty cool day and it's gonna be one of y'all's favorite days because you guys are really into this house washing stuff. We're going to do a two-story house wash today. I got some information mixed in with it, but you're gonna get to watch me just walk around and demonstrate what four gallons per minute can do. Also, Rocky the Pitbull is gonna demonstrate some problem solving. I'll backstory that later on in the video, but you'll see what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about some trailer chains today, crossing them or not crossing them. That came up from a comment yesterday, and I remember this topic came up last year, so we discussed that pretty much in detail. I want to do a quick refresher on bleach, what I use, and how I use it, and why I use it. And so, all that's coming up, and probably some more in today's vlog. So I'll see you guys at the end. We'll close it all out. I get my kids this afternoon. I'm super excited about that. I'll see you guys later. So here we go. Uh, we're off on a pressure wash day. Um, like I said in yesterday's vlog, oh good morning, it is Friday, July 22nd, I believe. Hey, did you guys watch Donald Trump's speech last night? Holy crap, what an indictment on Hillary Clinton that was, huh? If he does what he says he's gonna do in that speech, fantastic. Do I expect him to? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Here's old boy working. Have a good day. Cigarette hanging out his mouth. So he's about to start. So he's gonna do three yards right here. And then he's gonna do two yards over in the Berwick area. I'm going to go do a two-story pressure wash job. I was asked um, yesterday in a comment last night if I crossed the chains on my trailer. Let me back off a little. Um, if I crossed the chains on my trailer. And uh, no because the way my trailer chains are mounted, they're like right next to each other. They're like right there. So there's really no sense. But uh, let's clear some things up. Some people think that you cross your chains on a trailer to make the chains stronger. Uh, one person said that you cross your chains on a trailer to um, cradle the trailer in case it were to fall off the ball. All wrong. The reason why you cross your tra your chains on a trailer is if if your chains are out a little ways, okay, not like mounted right to the tongue of the trailer, but if they're out a little ways, then if you take the left chain and you put it to the left part of your bumper, let's say, you know, the frame of your truck, if you got that chain there and it's like this kind of sagging, right, left to left, when you turn right, you take the sag out of the chain to the point to where the chain goes completely straight and the trailer is no longer pivoting on the truck anymore. The chain is now snatching up and now you're turning like a huge 12 foot, 20 foot truck. It locks the trailer and now instead of the trailer pivoting behind, it's like an 18 wheeler and you know, your, your trailer's tracking off to the side. It's kind of, I'm not using the right words, but you get what I'm saying, right? You put your left chain to the left side of your bumper. If you turn right, that takes the slack out of the chain, locks the chain up, and the trailer's not pivoting anymore. Same thing if you turn right, or if you turn left, with the right chain. So if you had to do like a U-turn or something, it makes it hard on you. So, I said hard on you. So what you do is, you cross them. So when you turn to the right, this chain now becomes slack. If you turn to the left, this chain becomes slack because the left side now comes closer to the trailer, so it comes slack. That's the only reason why you cross chains on a trailer. There is no nothing. There's no there's no cradling, there's nothing like that. Hey, let's do a refresher on bleach real quick. I use the 10% bleach, sodium hydrochloride, 10% mix, okay? You can find that at pool supply stores and Walmart has it sold by, I think, the gallon uh, I think Pool Essentials makes it 10%. I don't dilute it. I put it straight into my chemical tank for about every gallon of bleach that I put in. I put in about an ounce of dishwashing soap to act as a surfactant so I can see the bubbles on the windows so I know that my siphon's working and to help loosen up the dirt and it keeps the bleach from drying out so fast. It, it makes it dwell a little bit longer. Um, 
that's that's how I do it and I downstream siphon with my pressure washer so the chemical tank gets sucked in and that's how it gets diluted all right it doesn't I don't dilute 10% bleach um, any more than the downstream injector so <coughs> what that is exactly I don't know but that's that's how I do it I think it's a 10 to 1 or 8 to 1 I'm not exactly sure 12.5% um, is real hot shit you got to be really careful with that that stuff I would dilute down I put about one-third bleach to two-thirds water so for every gallon of bleach that I would put in of 12.5% I put in two gallons of water to dilute that stuff down okay that is some really strong stuff I don't need stuff that strong if I buy that stuff I have to buy it in large bulk 600 pound drums the pain in the ass so I just don't but it goes much further but I don't do enough work and it's gonna lose its potency Le bleach loses its potency and you got to keep it out of the Sun so you got to be careful there um, this time of the year I'll just go and buy three four five gallons at a time and leave it in my chemical tank um, use what I need and, and just leave it because I don't you know I don't need a bunch of bleach sitting around my house for no reason uh, it's a waste uh, so I dilute 12.5 I do not dilute 10 percent okay I use a chemical tank I use one ounce of dishwashing soap as a surfactant to help dwell time last longer and to so I can see that it's going on and it lifts the dirt and spider webs and all that stuff off really nice um, and it also smells kind of nice too dishwashing soap uh, so that's that's what I do there. That's how I do my bleach um, So hopefully that's a little refresher for you. That'll help clear up some questions that you guys are probably gonna have today I'll be right back Okay guys, I gotta tell you a little bit about Rocky. I got Rocky when he was six weeks old, uh, maybe five weeks old, and I raised him on my chest. When I wasn't home, I used to put him in the bathroom and shut the door, and he would sleep underneath the sinks, which you'll see coming up. It got to a point now as he's gotten older that he kind of seeks that as a hiding spot. If I get excited, if I start yelling at the football game, if I raise my voice to the kids, all of a sudden you'll hear the bathroom door go dunk, and then shut all the way. What happens well, is now that I'm out working all the time uh, and nobody's here, I come home and Rocky will be locked in one of the bathrooms. So I went and I got door stops. Well, he's not gonna have that. This dog figured out how to remove the door stops and even go one step further, solve problems. I'm here at my customers and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan back here with the tripod later and that should be able to give you a pretty good idea of how high that peak is I mean you look at that look 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 at that peak and look at I mean like look at the chairs look at the doorway and then look at that peak and so when you ask me how is it you know what's important about four gallons per minute that's what's important about four gallons per minute that, that four gallons, five gallons are up. Um, four gallons per minute allows me to reach that peak. This side's a mess. I don't know if this is gonna show up good. That side's a mess. That's just straight up mildew. And then you got the front. Too easy, got some crazy white stuff going on there that'll all get clean real fast. And you have this peak here, peak there, and that side there. Once I get everything pulled off the trailer and ready to go, 35, 40 minute job. Let's do it.
Okay, that was with the black fan tip, and with the black fan tip, I was able to get pretty much to that white peak right there. All right, and all the way across. Now I'm gonna put the pink tip on. See the big hole? Not the red tip, it's the pink tip. I'm gonna put the pink tip on, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that peak now. So you don't exactly see me rushing around, right? I'm not running, I'm not rushing. It's easy work, I'm taking my time. It's 9.30, um, Glenn Beck was already on. So I mean, we've only been at it for about 20 minutes. The back is done, the side is done. We're just letting it dwell and then we rinse. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna do this nasty side. Pretty nasty stuff right there, but it's coming right off.
All right, so we're rinsing off. I got the back rinsed off. It's almost 10 o'clock. We just got to rinse around now. Um, about 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes, and we're out of here. And it's, like I said, it's like five minutes to 10. So about an hour total job. Uh, flat rate, 120 bucks. And I had a couple gallons of bleach in there. And I put three gallons of bleach in. So we probably used about three or four gallons of bleach. So, I mean, it's a quick $100 job. You can do five or six of these in a day, no problem. And I mean, I'm chill. That's the thing, you know, I'm, this is so, so easy with such little overhead. So let's just go ahead and uh, let me rinse off and I'll be right back. That's it. We're done. Too easy. All right, so we're closing out the vlog. We got everything done that we needed. Everything done that we needed to get done today. I got my boys. There's Nathaniel. There's Matthew. We're getting ready to go grab something to eat. I wanted to say thank you guys very much. I hope you have a great weekend. I Looks hope like you, an alligator. It does look like an alligator. I hope you guys got a little something out of today's vlog. Maybe a little bit about the bleach or just see how easy it is to do a house wash effortless it's really cool so thank you guys very much i'll see you guys probably tomorrow we'll put something together for the weekend unexpected weekend with the kids i don't have anything planned so you know so those are just the best weekends anyway so we'll just have to see how it goes thank you very much and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>